your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. And it's your testimony to healing and regeneration, no matter what your health challenge may be. If you have questions about prescription drugs, medications, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations, something you may have heard about or read about in the news, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share, we love those. Or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products, excuse me, any of the longevity products that you are advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, brightsideben.com. You can also uh, check out uh, my blogs, criticalhealthnews.com, and also pharmacistben.com. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel or Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Serum, or Truth Balm. If you're interested in high quality, high, high, highly active, 100% active, 100% active and functional ingredients, that's all we put in our Truth Treatment products. No preservative, no wax, no fillers, no oils, no silicon, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. If you're interested in checking those out, truthtreatments.com. We also have a, a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a special look at our retinol 5% gel, 5% retinol. You're not going to see that one anywhere. Retinol 5% gel, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we're talking about the ketogenic diet and fats and skin and skin hormones. Last we spoke, we were talking about one of my all-time favorite superfoods, flax seeds, flaxseed fiber, wonderful source of fiber, wonderful source of nutrition in general, and cheap. That's one of the best things about flax, flax seeds is that it is cheap, 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 two bucks a pound for this wonderful, I mean, really incredible source of nutrition. The humble little flaxseed, you look at a flaxseed, man, it looks tiny, 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 but man, is that tiny, tiny little size belie a powerhouse of nutrition. Flaxseeds have been around for a really long time, pretty much as long as we've been farming. There have been flax, there's been flax cultivation. Stone Age people used to cultivate, cultivate flax. In fact, I'm pretty sure flax is one of the first plants to be cultivated. There's uh, evidence that it was uh, the beginnings of agriculture were associated with flax some 10,000 years ago. Flax, there's evidence that uh, f people were farming flax 8,000 BC. It was used to make clothes. The word linen is derived from the scientific name for flax, linum. And ancient, ancient Egyptians, ancient people in general, used to use linen to, Egyptians used it to wrap mummies. It was considered more valuable than gold. It's in the Bible. Joseph wore garments of, of flax linen. I think the coat of many colors may have been made of linen in, uh, in the uh, book of uh, Exodus. Hail was one of the 10 plagues, and hail was said to have destroyed Egyptian flax fields. And also in the book of, uh, I'm pretty sure in the book of Exodus, Jewish high priests were, were uh, supposedly wore linen robes. In the book of Isaiah, linen is mentioned as a source of lamp wicks. In the New Testament, Jesus was adorned in linen when he was put in the tomb. Hippocrates 
the father of medicine, talked about flax as being able to relieve intestinal disorders, constipation, which it most certainly does. In the Middle Ages, flax was used to bake bread. It was a major crop in the United States until the invention of cotton. Cotton made flax, cotton kind of made flax obsolete as a, as a textile, but from that point, flax just moved on to being a source of, uh, a source of oil for paints and for varnishes and for polishes, although farmers have always used flax as a cheap source of nutrition for their livestock. It's, a, it's very high in protein. Somewhere in the 1980s, a lady named Dr. Joanna Budwig, some of you may have heard of her, she popularized the use of flaxseed oil. We're going to be talking about the Budwig protocol for cancer here in the coming days. She talked about using flaxseed oil, which is a wonderful source of omega-3 fats. Omega-3 fats, as we've said, are super duper high in electrical energy. And Dr. Budwig recommended using flaxseed oil to take advantage of this high energy omega-3 fats, along with cottage cheese, to create this electrically activated food, the sulfur in the cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is a source of the amino acid methionine, which is rich in sulfur. And Dr. Budwig talked about mixing her flaxseed oil with cottage cheese to create a little battery between the, a little electrical, a, kind of an electrical system between the, the omega-3s and the flaxseed oil and the sulfur in the, in the uh, uh, cottage cheese. And she talked about creating this little electron battery that she suggests anyway, and she's a pretty sophisticated biochemist. She suggested that this could help energize sick cells and prevent cancer or even reverse cancer. Flax seeds are a tremendously valuable source of minerals, selenium and zinc and calcium and iron. They're a great source of hard to find vitamin E. You'll get B vitamins in flax seeds. You'll get vitamin K in flax seeds. You'll even get a little bit of vitamin C, not much, but a little tiny trace of vitamin C in flax seeds. And of course, they are one of nature's best sources of omega-3 fats, the real omega-3 fats, not the, not the derivative omega-3 fats that you get in fish oil. Those are valuable, DHA and EPA, but the parent omega-3 fat, ALA, that is found in abundance in flax seeds. In fact, flat, that may be nature's best source of ALA omega-3 fats. And as mentioned, flax seeds are a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful source of protein. Over 20, maybe 25% of flax seeds is protein. That's a lot of protein, folks. If you, if you eat two tablespoons of flax seed, you're going to get as much protein as you'll get from an egg. And they're especially high in building amino acids, the specific amino acids for stimulating growth hormone and for building connective tissue, arginine and glycine. They're also a good source of what are called the BCAAs, the branched chain amino acids. Bodybuilders know all about the BCAAs. They're very important for building muscle. And the BCAAs are also very satisfying. They have appetite suppressant effects. You guys, are you getting the sense that these flax seeds are pretty darn important? All for two bucks a pound. Two bucks a pound. You'll also get uh, an amino acid called phenylalanine and another one called tyrosine. These two amino acids act like natural antidepressants. They're natural thyroid medicine. They're natural adrenal health boosters. They're natural energizers. They're natural appetite suppressants. This stuff's amazing, huh? Flax seeds, two bucks a pound. Get the golden ones. Personally, I like the taste of ground up flax seeds and I put them on, I mix them up with all kinds of stuff. I, I make a pudding with it with uh, almond, almond milk, a little coconut milk. They're nutty and they're crunchy. They can add texture to, flavor, uh, to uh, flavor your salads or you can add them to yogurt or smoothies. You can use them like breadcrumbs. To, uh, if you mix them up with a little bit of egg, you can make like a, a flaxseed egg wash and you can coat chicken and salmon with it. And that, that, it's going to really bump up the protein too on your, not only is it going to taste great, it's going to bump up the protein and the, and the mineral value of your chicken and your salmon. You can add it to just sprinkle some in an omelet to add some crunch or tuna salad. And you'll be getting all your, your nutrition, your vitamins, your minerals, your fats, and your protein. Uh, really hard to duplicate the value of flax seeds. All right, we'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the bright side. Don't go away.
back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We do have lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions. If you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products or our longevity products, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24 seven on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and also uh, benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase skin health, uh, longevity products off the websites as well, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites. And, uh, also want to encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, our Truth Balm, Truth Serum, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with accelerated aging of the skin, if you have acne blemishes, and by the way, speaking of acne, our, uh, a lot of you guys have been sending me letters about my blemish repair complex acne supplement. That should be out hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, you'll see, you can uh, be able to purchase that off of Truth treatments.com as well as brightsidehealthproducts.com that's my blemish repair complex made with uh, NAC and selenium and vitamin B5 and zinc I just got tired of having to tell everybody to buy these individual supplements so if you, you don't want to go into the health food store and buy NAC and buy zinc and buy selenium and buy chromium and buy the B complex and buy vitamin B5 we put it all together for you in our blemish repair complex and that will be out hopefully in the next week or two keep listening to this program and you'll hear uh, we'll let you know when you can start purchasing purchasing that off of truthtreatments.com and probably off of brightsidehealthproducts.com okay so continuing with beta glucan this absolutely fascinating form of fiber that's got tremendous health benefits it's a normalizing chemical. It knows whether the immune system needs to be suppressed or quieted down, or it knows or, or whether the immune system needs to be stimulated. Like many nutrients, this, this normalizing property is, a, is a, a factor that's linked to the fact that uh, it, nutrients are intelligent. Drugs are not intelligent. Drugs are robots. They're automatons. On the other hand, nutrients are human. They're an animal. They're intelligent. They're flexible. They know what to do and when to do it. And this accounts for the tremendous, tremendous non-toxicity of beta-glucan. Given the fact that this stuff is so powerful as an immune stimulant, as a wound healer, and, and yes, it is a wound healer, very important for, the, for, for skin health. It's sun protective. It lowers blood fats. It has positive health benefits when it comes to blood sugar and diabetes, in addition to helping lower blood fats and cholesterol. And it's completely non-toxic. And you don't need to go to a doctor to get it. You don't need to interface with the medical model to get it. That is astounding, and it is why, according to the website CancerTutor.com, beta-glucan is, quote, the most studied natural immunomodulator on Earth, unquote. And as we spoke yesterday, some of the most notable benefits for beta-glucan come to, when it, uh, come to uh, uh, involve the skin. And I've been working with beta-glucan for a long time when it comes to skin health. I first read about it and heard about it back in the 1990s. There was a company in Texas that had, was advertising or marketing a form of beta-glucan that had come from yeast. It was, back then it was proprietary. They wanted some ridiculous amount of money to license their yeast beta-glucan. So I started using beta-glucan in my skin health products that I got from oats, that I derived from grains. And I still got great benefits. It's true that yeast beta-glucan, at least according to the literature, has a little bit more skin health benefits than regular beta-glucan, but really, in my experience, any beta-glucan is going to provide you with skin health benefits. I started adding it to many of my skin health and uh, skin health products, many of my skin health formulations in my compounding pharmacy, and I was always having to explain what beta-glucan was and why beta-glucan worked. Today, it's, the cat is out of the bag. And there's lots of skin health products that are leveraging the power of beta-glucan. And it goes to show you what can happen in 20 or 25 years. In 1990, nobody knew what beta-glucan was. Today, if you're in the skincare business, everybody knows what, what beta-glucan can do for the skin. And for good reason. The stuff is amazing for skin health. It's cheap, and it's super effective, and it's non-toxic, and it's completely natural. 
beta glucan is great for all, really for every, anything that has to do with skin health, but it really, really shines when it comes to wound healing. And there's a lot of literature that talks about using beta glucan for healing wounds. I talked to a guy, uh, actually I've been texting a guy who's from Canada, I don't know if he's listening, Lauren from Canada, uh, and I, I talked to him a few times and uh, a couple weeks ago last, was the last time I spoke to him, and uh, Lauren had this horrible skin condition that he thought was eczema. He'd been treating it for, uh, for years with steroid creams, and a couple of days later, a couple of days ago, or actually about a week ago now, uh, he sent me a text and said, I've been admitted to the hospital for my skin condition. It just exploded. It got worse all of a sudden. This poor guy, he'd been dealing with eczema for, I think, decades, at least many years. I've been using steroid creams, and it was kind of keeping, a, keeping the symptoms at bay. And then I get a text from him, or I, I think it was, yeah, I get a text from him, and uh, he says, oh, my God, Ben, I've been admitted to the hospital. My eczema has just exploded. It got really, really bad. And I said, Lauren, send me some pictures. So he sends me some pictures. I look at the pictures, and, and he wasn't kidding. That looked like the worst case of eczema I'd ever seen. Well, come to find out, it wasn't eczema. I get a text from Lauren this morning. He says, uh, you'll never, you're not going to believe this. Uh, he doesn't know what I've heard because I'll believe anything these days. After being in the healthcare business for 30 years, I, I'm not surprised by anything. Anyway, Lauren says, you're not going to believe this, but my condition was not even eczema. <laughs> he says, uh, it's a, uh, a special condition. It's called TSW or RSS, also known as topical steroid withdrawal syndrome, or red skin syndrome. And this is a condition where you stop taking steroids and, and your skin just completely freaks out. And it only occurs if you've been using steroids for a long period of time. It's a rebound condition. It's almost like you've been pushing the immune reaction down like you would push down a mouse trap and you push it and you push it and you push it with your steroid cream so you don't see that you got the symptoms but what's happening biochemically is your immune system is kind of like a mouse trap and you're pushing the spring down on the mouse trap with your hand your hand being the steroid cream and then you stop using the steroid cream you remove your hand and the mouse trap springs back up and you get this terrible what they call in the world of health rebound condition and terrible is not the word i mean this guy was in the hospital it was so bad he says here, uh, hi, Ben, I finally have a correct diagnosis. I have topical steroid withdrawal syndrome slash red skin syndrome. It's not eczema. Well, yes, it is eczema. It's just an incredibly advanced form of it, Lauren. And I'm, I'll tell you what I mean here in a moment. I'm um, continue with this text here. It's steroid-induced dermatitis. That is a, a rash that's caused by steroids. Not really. It's a rash that's caused by the withdrawal of steroids. Not surprisingly, TSW slash, this is Lauren writing, not surprisingly, TSW slash RSS is caused by the very drug that's supposed to heal this inflammation. How do you like that? It could take one to four years to detox out of the body. Well, I'm not buying that, and I'll tell you what I mean here in a minute. Can't accept the length, he, he's not happy about this, obviously. He says, I can't accept that length to detox. I can barely get through the day as it is. My challenge is to find a way to shorten the detox time. I'm starting with nutrition. Well, I'll tell you what. If you stop taking your steroid cream and you get a rebound condition, that doesn't mean the steroid caused the problem. You still have an immune problem. Yes, the steroid made it worse because you've been artificially suppressing the symptoms, but the problem is still being caused by the same thing. Not the steroid cream, the underlying immune condition. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back. Diane. Back on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on, we'll get to you, uh, if you're on hold, hang on, we'll get to you when we uh, just got a couple more things I want to say about uh, beta-glucan and topical steroids. Uh, let's see here. So I talked to this guy, Lauren, a couple weeks ago uh, from Canada, and he had eczema. He wanted some help with it. Uh, we were working back and forth. We were talking back and forth, and then he calls me. Uh, I can't remember if he called me or texted me, but he, in any case, he communicated with me. He said, oh, my God, Ben, you're not going to believe it. I'm in the hospital. I've got the worst case of eczema ever. I told him to send me a picture. He sends me pictures, and, and he was right. It was the worst case of – I'm looking at these pictures right now. It was, it was one of the worst cases of eczema I'd ever seen. It was blistered and pussy, and, and uh, it just – it didn't quite look like eczema. Uh, he also said to me, by the way, he suffers from severe fatigue and back pain, and basically he's a – you know, he's got a lot of problems. Anyway, he texts me uh, a couple days after we started talking. He said he's got fever. He's been admitted to the hospital, urgent care. He's being pumped full of antibiotics. Oh, great. 
uh, I don't know, maybe he needed the antibiotics. In any case, he texted me this morning. He said he's been diagnosed with steroid withdrawal syndrome. Now, this is a, not an uncommon problem, unfortunately, because over the last 50 years, we've become, as a culture, completely addicted to the idea of using steroids internally as well as topically for any immune system reaction we have. And this isn't necessarily our fault, and it's really not even the medical model's fault, although they should know better. The stuff works. Steroids work. They suppress the immune system. They suppress inflammation. They get rid of pain, and they get rid of symptoms. And it's understandable why, if you don't understand how the immune system works, and you don't understand how the body works, which doctors should, uh, it makes sense that you just keep using these things. However, what happens at least in the case of topical steroids, is eventually uh, uh, you're going to have to stop using the steroid. And when you stop using the steroid, you get a rebound condition. Or if you, you're forced to keep using the steroid because if you stop using the steroid, you get this rebound condition. That's called steroid addiction. And steroid withdrawal and steroid addiction affect a lot of people. And this is what my friend Lauren was dealing with. Now, if you, this is you, there's a couple things you want to recognize. You still, have, this is the most important thing. Just because you use the drug, just because you use the steroid, doesn't mean you got rid of the problem. And now you take the, get rid of, the, you stop using the steroid, the problem is still there. But because your immune system has been artificially suppressed for so long, now it is super duper jumpy. It's super hypersensitive. And this is what accounts for the symptoms of this withdrawal syndrome. Your immune system is super, super, super sensitized. And now if you would have had an immune reaction that was maybe on a scale of 1 to 10 or 4 or 5, now you have one that's a 9 or a 10. But here's the key point. Here's the take-home message. You still have the same problem that you had before you started using the drug, albeit it's much more dramatic. It's caused by the same problem. So for my friend Lauren, he's got to do everything we all have to do if we're dealing with dermatitis or eczema. And that is number one, recognize that dermatitis and eczema are the manifestation of a defensive, i.e. immune response. Let me say that again, okay? Dermatitis and eczema, for that matter psoriasis, are the manifestations of a defensive response, an immune response. That's why immune drugs work. That's why they give you immune suppressant drugs. If you're taking an immune suppressant drug or applying an immune suppressant topical, that is telling you your problem is a defensive response. The key word here, response. That means your body's responding to something. If your body is responding to something in a dysfunctional fashion, the intelligent, that is not the doctor strategy, the intelligent strategy, not the medical strategy, the common sense strategy, not the medical model strategy, is to figure out what your body's responding to. If you have a reaction, i.e. response, that means there's an action. We gotta figure out what the action is. So Lauren has gotta calm down that immune system by first and foremost stop to, uh, uh, stopping the uh, entrance of anything into the blood via food. This is the most likely suspect when it comes to skin immune problems. So Lauren has to stop eating for two or three days. And then when he eats, he has to start noticing what foods make him uh, make his symptoms flare up and give him digestive symptomology. It would help if he knew or if he knows uh, what digestive symptoms he has. And if he already knows he has food problems, that helps. But even if you don't, hit the reset button. Fast for a couple of days, two or three days, do a Swero V cleanse, half a bottle of Swero V every hour, and then uh, do it for two or three days. And then when you start eating again, keep very, pay very close attention, keep notes, do a food journal, link your symptoms to specific foods, and then eliminate those foods. Secondly, start to focus on nutrients that help support the digestive system, especially good bacteria. Now, poor Lauren has been pumped with antibiotics, so he's going to have a, a, a real issue with his digestive system. If he already had an issue, it's going to be much worse. So he's, it becomes extra important if they've given you antibiotics to make sure you're using your nightly essence, eating fermented foods, staying away from chlorinated water, staying away from food-based antibiotics, dairy and, and fish and meat, antibiotics, using vegetable juices and fiber to help support digestive health. And then thirdly, when it comes to eczema and psoriasis and dermatitis, understand the relationship between good fats and fatty vitamins and skin health. And a lot of times when we're not digesting our food, we got problems with fats. 
If you don't ha have a dysbiosis, that is messed up gut bacteria or irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's disease, one of the most Im important ways this shows up is, 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 is as fat malabsorption. That means you're going to suffer. You're going to be dealing with vitamin A deficiencies and vitamin D deficiencies, both of which are incredibly important for the skin. You'll probably be dealing with a zinc deficiency. Zinc requires a fully functional fat metabol metabolizing system for its absorption. You're probably going to be dealing with omega-3 and omega-6 deficiencies. So make sure you're supplementing with vitamin A, 20,000 IU. Make sure you're using uh, vitamin D from fish oil or also in supplements and especially from the sun. The best form of vitamin D comes from the sun. Make sure you're supplementing with your omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids from Longevity's uh, 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 EFAs and EFA pluses. Make sure you're using avocados and fish oil, or I'm sorry, avocados and fatty fish and eggs and dairy, which contain omega fatty acids. And then absolutely positively use your ultimate enzymes with your fats and bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts with your fats, lecithin granules with your fats, apple cider vinegar, all of which can help support the absorption of fats and fatty vitamins. So you got, uh, if you're dealing with uh, eczema or psoriasis or, or a dermatitis, or you're dealing with topical steroid withdrawal issues, which is like uh, a uh, extreme version of eczema, what you want to do is you want to A, focus on food triggers and eliminate them. B, use digestive supplements that support the digestive system especially probiotics, and uh, C, make sure you're using fats, essential fatty acids, fatty vitamins, as well as key minerals like zinc and selenium also, and using them with digestive support, digestive enzymes, bile salts, lecithin, and apple cider vinegar as well. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to... Jim in Michigan. Good morning, Jim. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Ben. Real good. Thank you. I always enjoy your program. Thank you. I appreciate that. I What's up? Part, I have a two-part question. Okay. Wait, uh, take a break? Uh, yeah, hang on. we got to take a break. Uh, don't go away, Jim. And also, if you're on hold, you hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Jim in Michigan. Continue, my friend. Yeah, thanks. And my sister's been uh, diagnosed with Parkinson's. Uh, what can we do there? And the Lots. second part is what, what should she avoid when dealing with a regular uh, medical practitioner that hmm. doesn't think about what you're talking about? What you should avoid with a medical practitioner is the God effect. <laughs> You know what I mean when I say the God effect? That's where the medical practitioner is God and we are the supplicant. That's what you avoid. Oh, I, you, I dealt with the medical medical guys, yep. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't let them get away with the God effect. But in order to do that, you have to come equipped with information and knowledge. And not just information you got on the Internet, but understanding of what's happening in your body. And it's not that complicated. I'll tell you what I mean here when, I, when it comes to Parkinson's disease in a second. But that's the first thing I would tell you as somebody who's been in the healthcare business now for 30 years. Don't be intimidated. You understand what I'm saying? Because we go in there and we feel like because we're just some ignorant layperson and they're the, the medical deity that we just have to sit there and, and listen and, and, and take whatever information they give us. Not true. There are dumb medical professionals. There are smart medical professionals. There are medical professionals in the middle. There are medical professionals who don't know anything. There are medical professionals who are charlatans. There are, you know, they're like any business. And I'm not saying they're all bad, but it's just like any business. You don't, you don't trust everything your plumber tells you why would you trust everything your medical professional tells you so don't go in there when you go into a medical have a medical interaction or an interaction with the medical uh, medical model or representative of the medical model come equipped with understanding of how your body works not you don't need any science we don't really talk a lot of science here on this program it's just about understanding the body like a like a, a machine uh, go in there equipped or, or armed with information about your body and don't be intimidated. That's the f most important thing I would tell you and never hesitate to get another opinion. 
and, and never have a part of your body taken out or get put on a poison drug without getting a lot of a lot a lot of information especially when it comes to surgical procedures secondly as far as parkinson's goes parkinson's disease is a degenerative condition of the brain all right it doesn't matter from a reversal perspective from a healing perspective from a recovery perspective it doesn't matter that the degeneration is in the substantia nigra which is a part of the brain which is just latin for black matter it doesn't matter that it's in this movement control area in the brain from a reversal perspective it matters from a symptom perspective obviously but you know what if it was a few millimeters to the left it would affect the prefrontal cortex this degenerative condition and you'd have dementia you know what I'm saying? It, it, the fact is it happens to be in that area, but that doesn't make it – the fact that it's in that area doesn't, is not relevant from, healing, from a healing perspective. It, what matters is, is that it's degenerating. If it was a few inches over, you'd have a, uh, Alzheimer's disease. And by the way, Parkinson's disease comes associated with dementia. There's something called Parkinson's dementia. So what you're dealing with is a degeneration of the brain. Nothing more, nothing less. And so when a part of the body degenerates, what do you do? Well, first of all, you figure out what is getting into the system that's causing this kind of inflammatory degenerative response. There's, there's two directions you approach uh, uh, degeneration from. Number one, what is missing? And number two, what's, what's getting in? What is the bad stuff that's getting in? What is the good stuff that isn't? The bad stuff that's, get, that's getting in is almost going to always involve all food. So what you do with Parkinson's or with dementia or really any degenerative condition is you hit the reset button, pattern interrupt, as they say in hypnosis and NLP, pattern interrupt, hit the reset button, break the cycle. You stop eating for three days. For most people, their symptoms will begin to resolve. Now, three days is not a long time if you've been toxing out for decades and people get Parkinson's in their 50s and 60s and 70s usually usually their 60s or 70s so if three days of not eating isn't going to resolve 60 years of eating the wrong stuff which is the case for many of us but you'll begin to notice that you're feeling a little bit better if you can fast for a week that's even better if you can fast for 40 days that's better but for most of us two or three days do a swear of cleanse then you would start writing keeping notes recording everything you eat and how you feel and you'll notice that certain foods make you feel worse they make your they make your movement disorders worse or they give you digestive problems or if you have other symptoms they make those flare up and then those are foods you need to eliminate it's i, I know i say this probably three times a day two or three times a day i'm sorry to keep repeating myself but this is the simplicity of it, it there's not a lot of stuff you need to do the second piece of the puzzle is supporting digestive health Pro, and i'm not going to repeat everything we just talked about because i don't want to bore you guys but you know the drill probiotics, fermented food, vegetable smoothies, uh, uh, you can use something called glutamine, zinc, essential fats, these are all very, very important for the digestive system. Then the next piece of the puzzle is, is putting things in that are rebuilding kinds of supplements, and that's number one, your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, number two, a good source of protein, chicken soup is the best for a food protein because it's liquid. Uh, you can use bone broth protein that you can get off brightsidehealth.com, you can use whey protein if you can tolerate it. Uh, uh, the next piece of the puzzle, stabilize the blood sugar. Hypo, that is low blood sugar, hypoglycemia will make things worse. They'll trigger a stress response that will exacerbate degeneration and inflammation. And high blood sugar can cause a breakdown of tissue, especially brain tissue. In fact, we know uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease is now called type 3 diabetes. You can probably add Parkinson's disease to the list as well. So stabilizing blood sugar, using Sweeties, using the, all the B-complex, especially niacin and thiamine. I would be getting vitamin B12 shots. Using glutamine, uh, anything that can help the body build glutathione. I saw a great YouTube a few years ago, and I haven't been able to find it again, but it was a really cool YouTube where they had a guy with Parkinson's disease, and they, they were videoing him. And then uh, he had the typical little the strange Parkinson's walk. And then they gave him intravenous venous glutathione, which is a very powerful immune booster and anti-inflammatory and overall health substance that's made by the liver. They gave him an intravenous injection of glutathione. They videoed him again, and all of a sudden, this guy's walking completely normally. Now, I'm not telling you that glutathione is a magic cure, but I am telling you that by supporting the body's defensive system with glutathione, you can go a long way towards improving all degenerative health conditions, especially including the ones that involve the brain. Other nutrients for the brain that have specific relevance 
vitamins, omega-3 fatty acids, the mineral zinc, 50 milligrams a day, zinc picolinate, vitamin E, 400 international units a day, um, vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day. Let's see what else I could tell you for brain health. There's probably a ton more. Um, you probably, it, it probably wouldn't hurt you to get on a, a vitamin C supplement in addition to the Beyond Tangy Tangerine that you're getting from the Healthy Start Pack. And also selenium, the mineral selenium activates your glutathione. MSM sulfur, that's another one that might be helpful. All right, I got to motivate, Jim. I hope I gave you some inspiration there. Nobody has to deal with these Great. kinds of health challenges. Yeah. Is that good? God bless you, man. God bless you, my friend. Take care, brother. Okay, let's go to Pam in Arizona. I've been holding forever. Pam, thank you so much for your patience. What's going on? Hi there. Thank you. would like to know if you could lead us to a good source for bulk GABA powder. Ah, bulk GABA powder. You can go to a comp. There's an internet company called, I think it's called bulkpowders.com. Uh, you can get bulk GABA there. Uh, if you Google, you can get you can get GABA powder. I don't know what you mean by bulk, but you can get like five a uh, thousand milligrams a kilo or so, or half a kilo, which isn't you know technically it's not huge bulk, but I guess you call it bulk. You can get that from Amazon. Uh, N O W now makes a, a GABA powder, uh, but you can search Amazon to get. Uh, uh, a GABA powder. What are you using it for? What are you using it for? That would be for my uh, dear husband who has epilepsy. And okay, that's on, good. On also try some pregnenolone too, but GABA is a good idea. Uh, pregnenolone I would try also, 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams a day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, Pam. I want to get a couple more calls. Is that okay? Anything else you want to ask? Uh, um, that's cool. Thank you uh, for all you do. Thank you, Pam. Have a great day. Okay, Steve in Florida, you get the last word. What's up, brother? Hey, Ben, I want to thank you for your program, and I try to invite everyone I can to your program. I'm in Florida where there's just uh, literally like millions of sick people. We have I know. In every, uh, drug stores on every corner. Isn't it crazy? Oh. Literally, like a Starbucks in Florida. There's... Yeah, like you can't, you can't make it up. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Really but what it is is um, I came down with hemorrhoids, and I was, afraid, I was thinking about going to get them cut out, but I was afraid the doctor might think my testicles were the hemorrhoids because... <laughs> All right, I wouldn't let him cut me down there anywhere close either. Here's the deal. Hemorrhoids are, are a sign that the blood is not moving correctly through the venous system, the veins. They're varicose veins of the, of the hemorrhoidal tissue, basically. It's a distended vein. It means that the circulation's not working, and it has to do with a couple of things. Number one, if you've got, if you got constipation and you're pushing, that can be a problem. Number two, if you have any kind of liver health issues, that can be a problem. And number three, if you have any cardiovascular issues in general, particularly heart health issues, that that's keeping the blood from circulating, that can be a problem. There's a lot more, Steve, that uh, I can, you can do one of two things because we're just got, we're out of time. Send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number there. I'll call you or call us back on Monday. I apologize. We're just out of time. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.